On the surface, we're kind of low ranked, but uh, we're always loyal fans. Fans are pumped for Wednesday's Gold Cup soccer matchup in Dallas between Guatemala. We're an underdog, and sometimes underdogs get the best bite. And Mexico. It's going to be like a friendly game, but at the same time, we want to win. We want to win this game, you know. But this sign outside the Cotton Bowl, discouraging non-discriminatory language at the game. People won't stop screaming that word. Is a friendly reminder that Mexico is on thin ice. Fans of the team have been chanting a gay slur in Spanish for nearly two decades during goal kicks. And soccer organizations are fed up. After fans yelled it during a men's pre-Olympic qualifying event in March, FIFA sanctioned the team. No fans for its two first World Cup qualifying games at home later this year. It seems that the Mexican national team and the leadership isn't taking this seriously enough. Rafael McDonald is part Mexican and his grandfather played semi-pro soccer in the 30s. He's also the communications and advocacy manager for the Resource Center in Dallas, a nonprofit helping LGBTQ communities. It's enough of a common word because it's a slur that folks know it. It's been shouted at us by people just generally. CONCACAF, which oversees the Gold Cup, has strict rules for the chant. The first time it's heard, there's a warning on the Jumbotron. The second, a stoppage in play. The third, the game could end, but it's never gotten that far. McDonald said it should if organizations want the chant gone. You take away a platform that big, that's that global, with that many eyeballs on it, you better believe that FIFA doesn't want that out there. The team moves forward relatively unscathed for now, but if the chant goes on, missing a World Cup isn't out of the possibilities. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howard.